Hi, friends, and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading titled Loving Leadership was written by Lisa M. Samra. A viral video of a mama bear trying to get her four energetic little cubs across a busy street brought a knowing smile to my face. It was delightfully relatable to watch her pick up her cubs one by one and carry them across the road, only to have the cubs wander back to the other side. After many seemingly frustrating attempts, the mama bear finally corralled all four of her cubs and they made it safely across the road. The tireless work of parenting symbolized in the video matches imagery used by Paul to describe his care for the people in the church of Thessalonica. Instead of emphasizing his authority, the apostle compared his work among them to a mother and father caring for young children. It was deep love for the Thessalonians that motivated Paul's ongoing efforts to encourage, comfort, and urge them to live lives worthy of God. This impassioned call to godly living was born out of his loving desire to see them honor God in all the areas of their lives. Paul's example can serve as a guide for us in all our leadership opportunities, especially when the responsibilities make us weary. Empowered by God's Spirit, we can gently and persistently love those under our care as we encourage and guide them toward Jesus. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 through 12. Just as a nursing mother cares for her children, so we cared for you. Because we loved you so much, we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. Surely you remember, brothers and sisters, our toil and hardship— We worked night and day in order not to be a burden to anyone while we preached the gospel of God to you. You are witnesses, and so is God, of how holy, righteous, and blameless we were among you who believed. For you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children, encouraging, comforting, and urging you to live lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to be alert to the needs of others and to extend to others the loving care you graciously show us. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Alicia Reisinger, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.